Hi, Chad here with Purple Car Life. Today's project here in the bathroom, we've got a faucet here that's been leaking for a while. I thought maybe it was just a gasket I could tighten up. I've removed the knob here, taken a look at how this is built, and I don't think there's any way for me to fix it. I think it's something broken inside. So today we're gonna remove this bathroom faucet and we'll be replacing it with a new one. This is the faucet we'll be installing. This is the Glacier Bay 247368 brushed nickel bath faucet. It is a four inch center rest design with a lifetime limited warranty. We got this from Home Depot. I've already removed it from the box. It looks like this. So we'll go ahead and get started first removing the old bathroom faucet so we can replace this one. Here's another look at that faucet we're taking out. I believe it was a Kohler brand. We'll probably see the branding when we get the uh, pieces out. But Mackenzie has already taken the time to remove everything from underneath the cupboard so we have access. I've already turned the water off. I did bring my tool light down here. This is my rigid 18 volt light that came with my tool set. It just gives me some more visibility down here. And the first thing I'm gonna do is remove these water lines. I do use the shark bite disconnects. So you can see those are there and they will drip. So you saw I disconnected the two water lines from the bottom and removed these plastic securing nuts. Now I need to get this drain stopper line disconnected so that I can pull the drain stopper up out. The design of this one is such that it's tightened up using Phillips head screw. So I'll just loosen that up. You can see that, and now we're loose. And that allows me to pull this up out, but there is a connecting piece I need to loosen. Here's what that looked like. This threaded piece was just threaded together there. Now that actually lets me lift this right off. And there is our old bathroom faucet. And it was also a Glacier Bay. The drain assembly is also part of the faucet. So I'm gonna loosen this collar. And loosen this collar. And that should let me remove all of this. in this one also and there will be water there in the little trap if you've ever been to those rides at Kennywood or Cedar Point that say you will get wet on this ride this is a similar situation you will get water down underneath the cabinet making this change and you will see lots of hair if you've got a daughter or wife who uses this bathroom. Now we should be able to loosen this up. Now 
And there's our drain. You can see all that hair in there. It's pretty gross. We will need to reuse this sleeve. I'm able to pull this up out of the sink. So here's our top view. We're back to our plain countertop. No drain assembly, no bathroom faucet assembly. And that's where we'll start the installation of our new Glacier Bay bathroom faucet. We will follow along with the instructions. So always refer to the instruction manual that came with your particular faucet. This one gives us a pretty good diagram and lets us know how we're gonna get started. You can see there's a little bit of a ring stain left here. I'm gonna try Jennifer's Spiro cloth from Norwex. Wanna make sure you start with a clean surface. wipe that with a towel we're good to go so the first thing we're going to do is leaving the black gasket on the bottom set this in place just like that and then we will use these nuts on the bottom to hold it by compression in place Those just get hand tightened. You don't have to go crazy on them. You can see step two is preparing and installing the pop-up assembly for the drain. So I've got that all laid out here. Looks like we want to start with the stopper and the gasket and then the bottom up through. So here's that stopper. We just need to pull this out with our fingers. You can see that just lifts out. And then we're gonna unscrew this. I went ahead and put a little plumber's putty on the bottom of this to go in here. It called for silicone, but I don't have any silicone that's not an unopened tube, and I hate to open an entire tube just to do that little bit. Reconnect our trap here. I didn't forget any steps, but the next step is to put this drain in. And we want this little tab to be facing the back. Just like that. And then this piece, I'm gonna go in here like this. It actually is, needs to lock in place, but I'm going to have trouble fitting it because of the wall location. Let me see if we can get this in here. Okay, so it actually wasn't the wall holding that from going in. It was this little cap. This little green cap holds everything square. That has to be removed before you put this in place. that snaps into place and when it is pushed up and down that is what raises and lowers the drain next step was to take this little stopper out and put it here at the back through that hole there. Then we're going to connect that to this piece underneath. That little rod just got inserted into that blue piece. 
you choose the hole that best aligns that lets you lift and lower the plunger. And it all just kind of locks in place there with that blue down over piece that locks it in. Our final step is to reconnect our water lines. Connect them to our shark connectors. All right, now we're going to turn the water on and hope for no leaks. cold water. Just make sure we connect to the right sides here. Make sure this is the hot side. You can see the red indication says so this should be the hot one. We're good there. Just check underneath the leaks. Yep, right there. We've got a little leak. So we need to tighten that up a little bit more. Okay, I did some tightening there. Let's check it now. I think we're good there. No leaks with our drain. No leaks with our connections. So there you have it, a great example of Purple Collar Life. Didn't require a plumber to come in and put this in, I just followed the instructions and we have our new bathroom faucet installed. It works perfectly, the drain works, and underneath there were no leaks. Thanks for watching. If you like videos like this, give us a thumbs up, comment down below, share with your friends, and we'll see you again the next time. I went ahead and put a little plumber's potty I went ahead and put a little plumber's putty on the bottom of this.